So now in this video we're going to look at a very common circuit fragment for integrated circuits especially. But uh, in any case that's the pull up resistor. So that's what we have over here. And the pull down resistor which we have over here. So now the reason for these circuits is the input of many integrated circuits, measuring devices and whatnot. They just look at voltage. They have high impedance which means they don't let current flow through them. Maybe a very tiny amount trickles but practically no current flows through them. They're just interested in the voltage. So the problem is that throughout the air this uh, screwdriver is picking up signals. I'm picking up signals and uh, it's creating voltages. And so the inputs can pick that up. So with the pull up resistor we can give a solid 5 volts in relationship to that. 10 kilo ohms is uh, much less impedance than uh, I provide and uh, so that voltage will get through really easily. Now when we close the switch that makes a direct connection to ground. So the uh, input is looking at the voltage in relationship to ground and so when you go to ground that's a zero volt difference. So you close the switch you have a definite zero volts. And so the pull down resistor does the same thing but opposite polarity. So it pulls the voltage down until you close the switch and then you'll have a direct connection to 5 volts if you're using 5 volts. And so that may kind of sound bad because you're headed to ground ultimately. There's no resistance but remember the input whatever you're feeding it to has high impedance. So whatever this is going to has very high resistance it's letting practically no current flow through so you can make a direct connection to that 5 volts no problem so here we are on the board these alligator clips I clip to jumpers they come from the oscilloscope so the black one is to ground our voltage will be in relationship to ground and you can already see some noise but when I touch the uh, probe there then you can see we actually hit up to 5 volts and each one of these squares is 50 milliseconds. I had to uh, set that to uh, get the display this nicely. But in any case it takes 20 of these squares before one second has passed. So in any case uh, I'm alternating current about 60 times a second due to the household power around me bouncing off of me the electromagnetic waves which the oscilloscope can pick up really easily. So now for the rest of the video this will look better if we set this to one square per division. So I just hit that button until we get there and then you just turn the dial until it is uh, one second right there. So now each square is one second. We're going about one twentieth of the speed. And I have the uh, switch here and the pull up resistor. I'm going to set the oscilloscope to the uh, pull up resistor. And there you can see we are at 5 volts. The other side of the switch is to ground. It's separated top to bottom. So I could have stuck that jumper there or there. It would operate exactly the same. And when I hit the button, the voltage drops down to 0 volts right there. So we have a really clean now 5 volts and uh, 0 volts. And again, we can speed this up so that uh, it'll show my body on it more. And so the line's not quite as straight, but it's holding 5 volts really good, even when my body tries to interfere with it. And we will finish by also looking at the pull down resistor. So 10K to the negative side of the supply ground. And uh, we got the uh, positive side of the supply directly connected to the top of the switch. Again, doesn't care whether it's left or right. The top two pins are always connected to each other. Bottom two pins are always connected to each other it's when you press the button that they all connect. But in any case you can see the voltage is being held down low even if I try to throw it off with my body until I hit the button and then we get up to 5 volts. Uh, really nice and clean right there. And uh, there's the power supply set to 5 volts. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that and give any comments you may have. Also, if you can donate to Patreon, I have links down in the description. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.